Unlocking the phrase, no time to breathe. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, no time to breathe. This expression is quite vivid and tells a lot about the situation it describes. Stay tuned as we explore its meaning, usage, and some examples to help you understand how to use it effectively in your conversations. When someone says they have no time to breathe, they're expressing that they are extremely busy or overwhelmed with tasks or responsibilities. It's a metaphorical way to say that their schedule is so packed, they literally don't have a moment to pause or relax. This phrase vividly captures the feeling of being under a lot of pressure or in a rush. Although the exact origins of no time to breathe are not well documented, it's clear that the phrase has been used for quite some time to describe a state of busyness or stress. It's common in both formal and informal settings, but you'll often hear it in casual conversations to convey exhaustion or a hectic schedule. To help you better understand how to use no time to breathe, let's look at a few examples. With the project deadline approaching, we've had no time to breathe. She's been so busy with her new job. There's been absolutely no time to breathe. During the holiday season, retail workers often say they have no time to breathe due to the influx of customers. These examples show different contexts where the phrase can be applied, highlighting its versatility in expressing a wide range of high-pressure situations. It's useful to know some synonyms or related expressions. Here are a few, swamped, overloaded, under the pump, more common in Australian English, snowed under. These phrases can be used interchangeably with no time to breathe, depending on the context and your preference. And that wraps up our exploration of the phrase, no time to breathe. We hope this video has given you a clear understanding of its meaning, usage, and how you can incorporate it into your English speaking and writing. Remember, English is a rich language full of vivid expressions that can add color to your conversations. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to use no time to breathe when you're describing those all too common busy periods in life. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.